Hi, my name is Sanga Lindsay. I'm a landscape architect here in North Vancouver on our edible green roof. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about powdery mildew and what you can do about it. Here is a perfect example of powdery mildew. If you check out this leaf, it actually looks like powder or talcum powder has been sprinkled on top. Now the powdery mildew is very inherent in the cucumber related family. This happens to be a musk melon. You'll also find them on your squashes, on your watermelons, on your zucchinis, and it's just a perennial problem. It's a fungus, it's a soil-borne uh, uh, disease that stays in the soil and consequently infects your, your leaves. It's not really a, a fungus that will destroy your plant, it'll disfigure it, it will also make the plant decline, perhaps decline in its uh, capability to produce veggies and fruit, but you still want to control it. The best way to control it is to remove the dead and diseased leaves completely and make sure that you uh, dispose of them properly, never compost them. The other thing, if you have a lot of powdery mildew, is you want to use something like an organic uh, control something called Defender. Basically it's a sulfur based mix. Uh, you'll find though that you have to do this sparingly on things that are in the cucumber family because the plant leaves are very sensitive to the sulfur. But basically you can't cure powdery mildew. You can just control it, keep your plants clean, uh, keep them sprayed regularly. And the other thing is to make sure that you don't plant your cucumber related plants in the same spot next year. Rotate them around to a new course, uh, to a new location in your planter bed. If you want any more tips on typical veggie diseases and how to control them, please visit our website at www.zangadesigns.com. Thanks for watching.